And there were multiple reasons. Number one, this motherfucker. Number two, I checked the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and Louisiana is actually, like, number seven in the best unemployment rates, i.e. having the least unemployment. Which is, you know, not what you would really expect, but, yeah, they're doing pretty good here. We all do heroin. TJ, have you ever heard Pendulum? No. I don't think that'd be kind of music, TJ. Oh, yeah, I'm going to listen to it right now. Oh, wait, I really can't, because this computer doesn't have any speakers. Never mind. I'm going to listen to it later and love it. Yeah, maybe it's... I love Big Belly. It's like a giant third tit. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do you like Twilight? Yes, I love it. One time I fucked a pregnant bitch and, like, the baby started playing with my cock. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Life is good. Casey. You. Danny did not like that. I don't know, Johnny, David, uh, M, whatever, do you have money? Ambrose. For, for the next. Bella is a evil bitch. But you gotta make it worth my while. Okay. What the Bella? fuck is everyone talking about Twilight all of a sudden for? Here. Fuck Twilight. Go away. And I fucking laughed my ass off during Twilight so many times, because, especially that part where, like... Did you ever watch like, The Rest, or did you just give up after that? Edward Cullen is, like, running up the fucking mountain with that bitch, and, like, it, like his upper body isn't moving at all as he's running at light speed, and he looks like the racing snail from the never ending story. <laughs> Started to laugh. And, yeah, I watched the whole thing, and just to say that I did, like, it was fucking excruciating. So. You want to watch the sequel now? No. Not, not even if you pay me. Just getting to see it for free would be enough. You'd have to pay me. Sweet baby. You're gonna give me fifty dollars to punch me today. No, I'm gonna have to have more than that. Fifty dollars is what we were charging to take a shot. Ugh. Sure, why not? Are you a drunk bitch that likes to suck dick in public? Oil spill affected you at all? Uh, it, it may have, you know. I have well water in my house. And, like, I've thought about getting it tested ever since the oil spill, because maybe it's, like, leaked into the groundwater and it's like contaminating my shit. Hey, you can say ooh all you want, but like if the if there's a fucking hurricane or something, like the public water gets cut off, like I'll still have fucking water. Have you listened to the Symphony of Science? What is this bullshit? I can read the whole thing. I think you will like it a lot since you like Carl Sagan. Maybe I will. I'm like 30 minutes away from oiled beaches here in New Orleans. That sucks. Case, have you ever thought about cutting off your beard and putting it on your head? Why? It would only cover... How do you feel after accidentally molesting a fetus in a womb? Pretty good. Case, how many subs did you have before YouTube raped you into non-existence? Like 10,000. Fake, have you ever heard of Terrence McKenna? Yes. 
And if so, have you heard him describe his DM team experience? No. Uh, what the fuck kind of question is that? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think about Steve Carell leaving the office? I don't give a fuck. I think he's a fucking asshole. I'm not, we're not, like, super divided. It's just, like, I'm not quite as hard on the guy. I don't understand. Wait, what? what, is, what how are we divided on the issue again? Because you think that, like, artists should be able to rape like, whoever they want. I thought, like, um, I mean, like, I don't know. Never mind. I'm not. I guess I won't get on that. Whatever. It's all good. TJ, if you were going to kill yourself, how would you do it? Um, I don't think I. I don't think I have it in myself to do that. Honestly. I have an answer to that question. See, I would not kill myself, but if I was going to, if so, this is hypothetical, motherfuckers. This is how I would do it. I would like, I would like get on a bridge, right, and I would tie a noose around my neck, and the other end of the fucking railing. And I'd step to the edge. I'd douse myself with gasoline. Fucking plunge like a big ass knife into my heart. Then like light myself on fire and jump. So when they find me, I'm hanged, burned, and fucking stabbed at the same time. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Because I think that shit would be sweet. It's, it's, it's like the coroner would have to establish cause of death. And you'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> I think that guy has some work on his hands. Yeah, you know. Keep him on his toes. I'll keep him on his toe tags, so to speak. I like all girls. But I would never fucking kill myself. I mean, goddamn, make the cops earn their fucking money. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I don't think I can kill myself. I mean, like, if, if I was already going to die of, like, cancer or some shit, or I had some other fucking sort of disease, or I knew I was just done for, I think I would go out in some kind of fucking blaze of glory. You know? Suicide by cop, basically. A warrior's death. Yeah, pretty much. Because, fuck it, man. I hate cops. I'll take a few of those motherfuckers with me. So, they better pray I don't get fucking esophageal cancer like fucking Christopher Hitchens. Because I ain't going off... I ain't going quiet into that good night. I'm going loud into that good police station. If I was locked in a room with Thunderfoot and Ray Comfort, I think I'd, uh... Start banging on the door and be like, let me out of this room. <laughs> I think you would die instantly of boredom, wouldn't you? Yeah, I guess I'd just shoot the shit with them for a while until they pissed me off, and then it would probably turn ugly. The thing is, like, I think, I don't think, any, I don't think you could handle it, because I think you'd literally, like, fall into a coma before you could even, like, get a chance to get violent with them. Plus, you, I, I don't know, you might be, just feel really uncomfortable to sit there and watch Thunderfoot fillet Ray Comfort. For that whole fucking time. Yeah, I think the two of them would just, like, give all that. Let me show you something. Let me show you something that's fucking horrible and will scar you for life. Awesome. Like, in a bad way. Like, go see. Oh, girl. This is worse. The lemon party. Worse. For meat spin. Beauty in the universe. Yeah. Come on, bro. Damn it, play, you fucking miserable shit. It's not scarring me horribly. That's not the part so that's scar you. <laughs> so far that I like what I see. Well, you don't like what you see because you hate that bitch. But Who is it? That's fact versus religion. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Dude, I hate her personality. It doesn't mean I hate her body. There you go. <laughs> There's Thunderfoot. I hate her as a person, but, you know, she's got tits. I don't know why Thunderfoot made this video. Wait, that's Thunderfoot? Yeah. Why is he, like... Yeah. Isn't that great? Why is he, like, tossing his head like a fucking 80s metal singer and, like... Is it? Sending, like, this spew of droplets... Look at him! Sun. Look, Look at his beauty. <laughs> they are really, really gay. Like, the two of them. I... I wow. They really made this video. Yeah. This exists. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Look at that shit. Oh, my God. Like, it's not so much like that they made this. It's that they made this and then said, the public needs to see this. At least the water looks cool. Yeah, but, like, just... 
seeing Thunderfoot trying to look. This is like, you know, this reminds me of this reminds me of that scene in Zoolander where they're like fighting with the gasoline at the, at the <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I wish he was doing that with gasoline. Come on, you cheapskate mother. I can't. That that's wow. That's the gayest fucking YouTube video I've ever seen. I know, is it not? And that really is saying something. Because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> Fact versus religion is stupid. She's terrible. And she didn't show her fucking ass. She's terrible. And her tits aren't big enough to justify, like... Based on her the shape of her hips, it doesn't look like she has a bad ass either. But, you know, you never really know. Well, now we'll never know since we didn't get the fuck to see it. Maybe it's earlier in the video. Oh, well, I don't care that much. I mean, I don't like her as a person, so I just want to objectify her, but... Cool. I didn't even get to do that, really. Ars Poetica. TJ, what do you think of the possibility of atheists organizing politically? I don't understand, like... There's so many things wrong with that fucking question. Because first of all, like, what about not believing in God automatically gives you a, a certain set of political positions? Here's my answer to that question. I think the same thing about it as I think about the idea of white people organizing politically. <laughs> what, you mean the Republicans? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's equally as repugnant. I mean, it's, it's, it's just fucking identity politics. And, yeah, I mean... It, like, think for your motherfucking self. Is that so hard to do? And, like, it's like... Maybe chess players should organize in their own political party, too. Like, what? What? Why? I mean, come on now. I mean, God has not really infiltrated our politics to the extent that we really need to, like, go do our own party for the fuck fuck's sake. The only thing that could force me into bed with other atheists politically is... Yeah, like, if there's, like, if, like, like, if my life is in danger, I might, fuck, I might <laughs> join some kind of group. But even if I did, like, it, it would just be for, like, suicide bombings and shit. Like, I, I don't want to go to meetings and, like, use Robert's Rules of Order and shit. <laughs> Robert's Rules of Order. Yeah. Yeah, I so. have a point of order for the Atheist Club. I think our symbol should be <laughs> an A. <laughs> In an atom symbol. Like um, science. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I don't think either of us is too impressed with the idea of an atheist uh, political party. I actually do like the atheist symbol, but whatever. That, I mean, I, I don't fucking think we need a symbol. It's not simple enough. That's what I don't like about it. It's yeah, it is. I mean, if you can't spray paint it on a wall, it's not worth shit. Yeah, it is kind of pretentious. That's true. But, I mean, like, why does atheism need doesn't? It doesn't at all. I, mean, I, I think it, it's... I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it looks okay. But, you know. The symbol for atheism is a world with no God. Just, you know, everything I look at symbolizes atheism. <laughs> the symbol for atheism shouldn't be an A anyway. It should just be an E for, like, existence. Can you spray paint the atheist symbol? You can't... Oh, you can't... Oh. I mean, yeah, you could spray paint any fucking thing. Look at Banksy's ass. I mean, he fucking spray paints, like, crazy shit on fucking walls. I always like the existential quantifier symbol from, like, uh, predicate calculus, like that backwards E. It's like a dyslexic E. You know, dyslexic. Yeah. That might be a cool atheism symbol, except no one would fucking get it. Actually, no, I think that would be a theist symbol. The hat says Chevy, dude. It's just a fucking hat I bought to look like a redneck. It has nothing to do with anything that I think or believe, so. Are there any other hate, any other states that you hate besides Texas? I hate Florida. I hate Utah. That's pretty much it. Florida, Texas, and Utah. I hate those fucking states. What's wrong with Utah? I've, ne I've never been there. I'm just, I mean, like, there's nothing there, is there? Uh, Mormons and fucked up alcohol content oh, laws yeah, and the beer. And about fucking, they're passing all kinds. They pass all kinds of weird laws and shit too. They're I forgot the Mormons. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, that's 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 not good. 